Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a particular type of chemical reaction. That is the precipitation reaction. A precipitation reaction is when you have two soluble ionic compounds that react to produce an insoluble product. This is called a precipitate. The products of a reaction between two aqueous solutions of ionic compounds can be predicted using a solubility table. This is an example of a solubility table. What it shows is on the left hand side everything that is soluble or if you are writing an equation things that you would represent with AQ which is aqueous. What it shows here is that anything in group 1 or ammonium is soluble always the same as nitrates and acetates are. Chlorides are in general soluble except for if we have silver, lead, copper or mercury. Again, sulfates are always soluble except for if we have silver, lead, barium, strontium or calcium. The opposite side of the table, the right hand side, shows the insoluble side. This is where we would write an S next to the equation. For this we can see that carbonates are generally insoluble except for group when with group 1 and ammonium, the same as sulfites and phosphates. Hydroxides are insoluble except for when with group 1, ammonium, barium or strontium and sulfides are insoluble except for when with group 1, group 2 or ammonium. So let's now have a look at a particular precipitation reaction. If we had a solution of lead nitrate and it reacted with a solution of sodium iodide, we could predict the products. All we need to do is swap over the metal cation. So the products that we would make would be sodium nitrate. And if we look this up in the solubility table, we can see that all nitrates are always soluble. So in this case, we would then write an AQ next to it. The other product that we would make would be lead iodide. Again, if we look this up in the solubility table, we can see that iodides are generally soluble. However, we have lead with it and therefore it would be insoluble. We would then write a little s next to it to show that there has been a precipitate made. It's important that we can represent precipitation reactions with word equations. If we consider our example from before, we know that the reactants were lead nitrate and sodium iodide and they are therefore placed in the left hand side of the arrow. We also know that the products were sodium nitrate and lead iodide. They are therefore placed on the right hand side of the arrow. It's important that we put in the states of matter because we need to show when our precipitate has been made. 